Welcome back guys. I thought I'd zoom right out just to show you how we've only scratched the surface of our, our little park over here. Uh, what am I going to do first? Well, what, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to do uh, restrooms and restaurants, and I've got a plan for that, which is going to be quite cool. But I thought we'd start off by, um, by putting in the road network, because we look at our research, we've now done everything. We've researched restrooms, restaurants, bowling, we're about to finish the cinema, and then we'll be on to the road network. So you know what, I'm going to kind of anticipate that, and I'm going to get the road network put in. So we're going to start off now. This was um, this was um, twelve from there to there because we had ten parking spaces. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm twelve there, and then come over here and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and same up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I want to take that up to where uh, that goes across to there. Yeah. And then that comes across to there and joins up with that road. And this comes down to there. Yep. Yeah. And that goes across to there and joins up. Excellent. All righty. <laughs> what are we going to have in the in the middle? Well, I live in a place called Kingston, Kingston upon Thames, which is just kind of on the edge of London. Um, and we've got a uh, we've got a big shopping centre called uh, the Bentall's Centre, and that's what we're going to be kind of. It's not going to be like an exact copy or anything, but it's going to kind of have that kind of influence. It's going to it's going to have like so it's going to be an indoor shopping mall. Like this is a strip mall, so you've got you've got the outside, like you've got your street here, and then you've got a series of shops. That's a strip mall. Uh, this is going to be like a like a proper shopping centre, and we're going to have the, the cinema and the bowling alley and all that kind of cool stuff in there. Right, um, let's get on with this then. So uh, I'm going to tell them to put the foundations in, and we're going to use this area here, and we're going to have um, we're going to have a restaurant, and we're going to have um, uh, some restrooms. Um, so we'll use that area. Like how how this will work out, I don't know, but we'll, we'll kind of see. Right, um, while they're while they're coming over and building that, and I suppose I could crank it up. Uh, I, but I wanted to show you like the statistics and how we're doing and everything because I've run this on for like two days, which is why we've now got like a quarter of a million in cash. And look at that. Our profits have just gone through the roof. Uh, why? Well, uh, let's, uh, I'll show you the overall and then I'll show you the individual stores. So um, parking usage, you can see we're just on the up and up. We're using more and more parking because more and more people are coming. Sales numbers. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this. Up at 1,500 sales a day now. Net profits. Went up, and we're still up at around the 30,000 level. Um, but, but what else is interesting to look at? Nah, not of those. Peak customers, 170 on site at one time. Daily customers, yeah, up around the 1,000 mark. And now this is the thing. Unsatisfied customers. How many unsatisfied customers we had in the last few days? Zero. We had that thing where we weren't having enough cashiers at SkyMart. Uh, but last few days, nothing. Absolutely perfect. So why have we got this warning thing down here? Well, we're missing sales opportunities because we don't have a restaurant. And people are going, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, there's nowhere to eat. Oh, I'll go home then. And we'll get another warning for uh, for restrooms as well. And, uh, oh, we've completed the cinema. So now we're getting onto the, the, the road network. Oh, and there's our builder going off building the roads. Very, very noisily. Um, right, so yeah, we want that running fast. So, oh, yeah, well, you've got to finish that, and then you've got to come and do this. I might hire another builder, you know. I'm kind of, I mean, we've got enough cash. So I hire another builder. Kind of tempted to. Uh, well, what do I want? What do I want? I want manage, and I want the maintenance centre. Now, people have said that I should hire, I should create another maintenance centre somewhere else. So that the janitors are closer and whatever, but I'm kind of not going to worry. We're making so much cash at this point that I can afford the janitors to be walking backwards and forwards. I know they waste a load of time, but you know, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, everything's going great in here. Keeping our queues down at manageable levels. Um, I have um, extended the opening hours uh, at these stores. These are now 7 till 11. And I've hired cashiers and stock clerks and whatever to, uh, to keep them over. And there's the second warning for restrooms cool how is our builder doing <laughs> god yeah that is quite a lot of work 
I should uh, I should probably have done that at the end of the episode rather than the beginning. Let's uh, maintenance centre staff builder. We've got a good builder. Oh, we have got a good builder. Your walking speed isn't awesome, but your building speed is. So we'll hire you, Marie Pitts. Uh, now hang on, we've got uh, we've got one, and then we've got two. Uh, so we, that's the one that we've hired. You're coming to work in 14 hours. Doesn't really help us too much. So hang on, how many how many builders have we got? It's a good point. How many builders have we got now? So we've got four. Uh, so so we oh right. So we had one all the time, and then we've just hired another one. Well, I've got fast build. Oh, yeah. Why am I worrying? Look, she's come and built this now. And then she can get on with the other stuff while we're laying this out. Good. Okay, well, that works. Now, restrooms and restaurants. Uh, I've got to say, um, thank you to uh, Magistrella, who left me comments warning me that you can't rotate a lot of the objects. And I have to say, originally, I was going to do this, and I was going to show you like my first attempt at it. But when I started recording it, my first attempt was just a freaking horrendous nightmare. So, um, yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, first thing I'm going to do, build, remove, remove objects. I want to remove that. And I want to, uh, uh, and then I want to put in a door there. Right, so that we can get in. Right. Yeah, uh, you've kind of got to do it once to figure it out. And figure out what can be rotated and what can't and whatever and then once you know then it's a kind of easy but until you know um, it can cause you some problems especially with like laying the place out and whatever right so uh, let's start off with the restrooms we're gonna uh, let's start off with some walls so I'm gonna put a wall I'm gonna do a men's room and a, and a, and a ladies room right even though there is no distinction and they will use both but I'm gonna do it just because I feel like it so I'm gonna have um, I have a door there, and I'm only going to have one door. I mean, really, in a, in a toilet, you should have two doors, but I'm just going to have one because, yeah, I can't be bothered, basically. <laughs> right, now, now, the first time I did this, where's objects? The first time I did this, I thought, oh, right, what I'll do, I'll have my toilet cubicles along there. That'll be nice, right? And then I'll have my sinks along here, right? Yeah, only one problem with doing that. Um, the toilet cubicles, they can be rotated, right? And the sinks... They can be rotated, right? But if I put like toilets along here, as I did originally, no, so I put the toilets along here, and then I came to put my paper dispenser on the wall, right? And of course I wanted my paper dispenser here. You can, I'm trying to rotate it now, Q key. No, will not rotate. So, uh, it means that I have to have my toilet cubicles along here, which is which sucks because I wanna, I wanna be able to see them. It's kind of annoying, I have to say. But, okay, this is going to be the ladies. So we'll have um, we'll have five of those along there. And then in the gents, we'll have two. And we'll have um, three urinals. And again, I like, you want to see these because it's cool. And all you see is that, which is kind of disappointing. But, but I suppose the bonus is that you get to see the sinks, which you kind of don't if they're on this wall. So I guess it's six one and a half, doesn't it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three three sinks in we'll have uh, a couple of paper dispensers in between there 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 and there and I want a garbage bin where's the garbage bin there trash can and yeah, we'll have a trash can and a trash can right so there we go and we want a door just to finish it off which is a glass door <laughs> which is a shame <laughs> so you, if you're sitting out here you're gonna be peeking in and seeing what people are doing oh, it's all a bit of a mess isn't it uh, anyway so that's those that's those done good now uh, and in fact um, because we don't need any staff or anything for that they've just got to be built I might as well zone those in so that people can start using them that's actually not a bad idea so what do I want to do I want to assign uh, restroom so we'll have restroom and restroom Cha ching so that one's that one's finished that's got all the things it needs like you don't need paper dispensers and you just need a, um, a, a toilet and a sink I think that's all you need. Well, yeah, toilet and sink. That's all you need. There we go, and that's all done. Right, now, let's do the restaurant. Now, the restaurant card, if you didn't... Uh, this gave me a real headache, because I started off um, thinking, oh, right, no problems. Yeah, this will be this will be dead easy. 
Uh, I'll start from I'll kind of start with the kitchen down here and I'll kind of work my way forward and then I'll lay out the, the tables and everything will be fine. So what was the first thing I did? If you come up here now, I do, I do like the fact that, for example, you've got three different styles of tables. You've got like diner tables, you've got food court tables and you've got restaurant tables. And it is quite cool. I like this. Um, but you've only got fast food cooking air things. You haven't got like a proper kitchen for a proper restaurant or whatever. It's all fast food. So. So these fast food cooking ranges, I thought, OK, well, let's start with these. Let's put these against this wall. Uh, now, you can't rotate these. Right? I'm pressing the Q key. You cannot rotate them. Tables, those you can rotate. Right? But these you can't. I put them against these walls. If you put them against these walls, your restaurant will never start working because your cooks can't get to them because they actually need to be on, on this side of it. Right? So these have to be there. Right? So I'm going to put in three of those um, then we want uh, fast food warmers and fast food dispensers and I, I didn't I didn't like um, let's pause for a minute I didn't like trial and error this I just kind of threw in like three of these and then I threw in like three fast food warmers and three fast food soda dispensers and it just kind of worked and that seems to be that seems to be a ratio that works if you know better than that that like like one to one is the, the way to go uh, if you've done more experimentation with it, then let me know. Leave me a comment. So I'm going to have... Now, these can't be rotated either. I'm, I'm, you can hear me clicking. Nothing's happening. So um, we'll have one of those there. And, yeah, and then we'll have one there and one there. And then we'll have soda dispensers. And we'll have one there, one there, and one there. Right, cool. And then... Now, I, I don't know whether... The, I, I think they can only get to it from this side, personally. But, which means that if they want to get to that one, they've got to come all the way around here. But, like, this is the way I want to lay it out. I mean, I suppose, really, I should have put the kitchen at this end. Like, and, and now I've said it. I, like, I should have put the kitchen at this end. God. Uh, Do I really want to move all of this? <laughs> you know, the thing is... I actually do. So, all right, let's let's do it. Uh, what? A, oh God, <laughs> what a pain! I, I the OCD just will not let me do it now. What do I want? Remove walls and objects. Okay, I want to remove those. Go, and I want to remove all of that stuff. Go, right. But it won't take me long to put back in because I was when I'm not yakking, I can actually do things like relatively quick. Come on, guys. Come on, get. Come on, builders. I think there's two of you on at the moment. Good job I could put the fast builders on. Right. What about the rest of it? Oh, your mate's doing it. Okay, fair enough. Right, good. So we want one, two, three, four. We want that wall across there. We want that wall across there. Cool. I want to unassign this. How do I unassign? Oh, I suppose you just write over it. Okay, fair enough. Right, so... You're putting the walls in. Good. Let's get build and objects. So, so see now, actually, I, I, this is a good thing that I've re reversed this because now we can see the prop stuff properly. I don't. Why didn't I think of this before? What an idiot. Um, so Q. So we'll have this is going to be the lady. So boom, 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 and then this is going to be the gents. Boom, boom, and then we want urinals. Now we need to actually see the urinals, which is I think I think it's quite cool. And then we want um, toilet sink. Flip you around. Got, now you don't get to see the toilets then. The, the like the sinks and the mirrors and stuff, but that's... I think they're, they're better like that. I think I think it's cool to be able to see this stuff. And then we want... Um, uh, paper... Oh, I can't rotate the paper. Can I? No. Oh, good Lord. So I still can't put the freaking paper... You know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother putting the paper dispenser in. Screw it. Um, in which case, I can put some more sinks in. So that's what I'm going to do. Sink, sink... Sink, sink. You'll just have to dry your hands on your blooming trousers. There's nothing else for it. Uh, what do I want? I want a garbage can. Where's the garbage can? Trash can goes in there. Boom, boom. We want a couple of doors. Yeah, carry on building. We want a couple of doors. Which go boom, boom. And that's that. So now, pause. I can assign the restrooms. Uh, restroom. So that's one restroom. And that's the other restroom. Ching. Good. Uh, right now we can do the rest the, the restaurant right so fast food uh, no don't don't do that yet build build thank you 
Right, let's go down here. So we start off with the cooking ranges. Now, now, ah, now, I wonder, can I put the cooking ranges there? And I should be able to. And I should be able to put the cooking ranges there. So I guess what I'm going to try. God, I hope this works. Oh, I hope this works. Because everything, I'm going to, if this doesn't work, then I've got to move everything. That would not be fun. All right, well, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I'm going to put that there, that there, that there. Fast food warmers there, there, and there. God, I hope my cooks can get to that. They've got, they must be able to, surely. Don't call me Shirley. Um, order counters. Now, this confused the hell, I've got to say, this confused the hell out of me because when you zone this in, um, it, uh, it, it tells you that you need um, uh, order desks and you need cashiers, right? And I kind of mistook that thinking you needed checkout counters, <laughs> but you don't. So now these we can put in uh, across here. So we'll have a couple across there. Actually, I'll do, I'll do three on that side and one, two, three on that side. Right, so the, the queues are coming down from the tills. Right, and then now we want tables in here. Now, how the hell am I going to do this? I'm, I'm thinking of using the food court tables. Now, these... Yeah, yeah, we'll use food, food court tables for this because I think it's more fitting for this. So, how do we want to lay these out? Well, let's flip them around. These, thank God, you can flip around. So, if the queue is coming down here, we can have tables like... Uh, let's do it like that and then we can have the next row going down like that and the next row going down like that uh, and then I will leave a double gap I don't think in the middle because just like just because it's freaking easier and boom 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 and yeah that actually works my god something actually worked out Alrighty, so all I need to do now is assign this as a, uh, where is it, restaurant, fast food restaurant. So let's assign that as a fast food restaurant. What, do, we'll delete, yeah, that's fine, proceed, good, pause. Because uh, it still won't work yet because we need, see, now let's see, requires cashiers, stock clerks, fast food cooking ranges, order counters, fast food soda dispensers, and I saw cashiers and I thought it meant cash desks. Uh, confused the hell out of me. But that's only because I'm an idiot. I'm sure most people would understand what it meant. Um, but these these things, if you put those at the other end, oh, you'd be pulling your hair out. You really would. Uh, what am I doing next? Okay, now I need to freaking hire like six million people, don't I? Which is the, kind of the downside. Uh, okay, so staff for the fast food restaurant. What are we going to call this? I don't know. I'm going to think about it because I can't think of a good name. Maybe you could. You know what? I'm not going to name it. Guys, give me suggestions for what do we call the fast food restaurant. And if there's any of my patrons out there and you want it named after you, then feel free to suggest it. You can message me on Pat Patreon or just leave them, uh, something on the video. Uh, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to make this exclusive to my patrons. So if you come up with the, the best name, the funniest name or the cleverest name or whatever, then you've got a chance of getting in. Right. Okay. We've got six desks. Uh, I am going to do this the freaking easy way this time. I'm not going to, like here, I've been trying to optimize this to save money, but we're now making so much money that I don't need to do that anymore. So this is going to be a lot easier. Higher cashiers. Uh, no, we'll take you 17. I uh, me asking it. That's 18. Right. Now I want cooks. I need three cooks. So I'm going to hire eight. I'm going to hire eight. So we'll have you. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight well look you're a great cashier though but i'm gonna hire you yeah eight okay so that's all the ones i need right so how am i going to sort this out well i'm going to do this very quickly so we're going to have um Oh, I need to set the times, don't I, for the store. So you are going to be open 24 hours a day. 24-hour restaurant. Um, you are going to come in at zero. You are going to come in at zero. You are going to come in at... Uh, no, I want two overnight. So you're going to come in at eight. You're going to come in at eight. You are going to come in at eight. 
that's three at eight, and then we want three coming in at four. So one, you come in at four, and finally, uh, I'm missing one. Oh no, I've got one too many. Coming in at eight then. Uh, so yeah, you should be coming in at four. There we go, four. Ooh, I've got one wrong. What have I got wrong? Four, four, four. How I, why have I got an overlap? So one of these must be coming in at nine. Hang on. What have I got wrong? Oh, you. Okay, so you're coming in, yeah, zero, and you should be coming in at eight. There we go. I just missed the first one. Right, so cashiers. Oh, no, I don't want to hire cashiers. I want to blow and sort them out. Cashiers. Okay, so I want uh, four at night and six the rest of the day. So one, you're coming in at zero, two, zero, three, zero, four comes in at zero, and then we have you coming in at eight, one, two. Two, uh, three, oh, you come in at eight, and then four comes in at eight, five comes in at eight, and six comes in at eight, and then the rest all come in at four o'clock. So four and four. Now, this is not going to be like as optimized as it has been before, but to be honest, as long as we serve everybody, I don't mind wasting a bit of money just to make life easy. So four and four and four. And the final one, Mia Skinner, comes in at four. Oh, now I've obviously got one coming in too early. Yep. So one, two, three, four. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So when are you coming in? You're coming at four. You should come in at Eight, there we go. So yeah, there we go. So we got four at night, and then we've got seven. Um, we apparently got seven during the day. Yeah, th this is cashiers. No, it, no, that's six, isn't it? God, I wish they, I wish they put the numbers on the. Is that six or is that seven? That's got to be six. I wish they put the numbers on the freaking lines. It's very confusing. This. I don't know. Maybe I've got it. I, don't, I really don't care. That's that. Um, so I've done the cooks, didn't I? So stock clerks, and I don't want to hire them. I want to sort them. Here we go. Stock clerks. We want three. You, can, oh god, it gets, it does get to be a bit of a pain after a while, doesn't it? Sorting all this out because you're hiring so many people. Right. We'll just have one stock clerk all the time. Okay. We are. We should now be able to rock and roll with this. Um. Yeah, they've got to finish building this, but right, that's everything built. So what are we missing? Why isn't this open? Oh, require storage. I always forget. Assign the storage. There. And our restaurant is now open. When are staff going to come to work? Oh, that's a good point. Oh, are they? Oh, no, they're using the restrooms. The customers are using the restrooms. Good. When, when, oh, oh I keep pressing the wrong damn thing. Um, let's have, okay. when, when are you coming to work? So you're coming to work in nine hours. You're coming to work in 16. And you're coming to work. Oh, you're at work. Oh, here they are. I was looking at that, and there they are. And we're serving our first customers. Our cooks are standing around. Re oh, oh, and there, oh, there we go. We've got burgers. We've got, uh, what is this? Le right. I'm guessing lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles. God, that's making me hungry. And they put them on the food, the dispensers. Oh, look at this. $17. 25, 20, 20. Oh, we are cranking out the customers. And we've got the restrooms going. Right, let's get rid of this and this. Right, what research? Well, so we finished the cinema research. Oh, we finished Road Network 1. Cool. So, let's have a look at this. Because I, I haven't done this. So, that one's closed. It's got barriers across it. And that one's closed. It's got barriers across it. And that one's closed. Now, so how do I open up? Do I have to, like do I have to demolish that or something? Uh, build, uh, remove roadwork. You can't build in this area. So what do I do then? Um, b -b -b remove objects. You can't build in this area. Yeah. What? So how do I open up an extra connection then? Okay, um, you know what? Leave me a comment. Can, can somebody please tell me how I open up one of these connections? I'm sure you guys know. Alrighty, how are we doing in the restaurant? The restaurant is is doing pretty nice. Oh, we're in the we're in the 
We're coming up to eight o'clock. We'll get the extra cust Oh, there we go. Now we've got the extra the extra cashiers on. We're certainly keeping up easily with the orders at the moment. People are not having to wait, so they're going to be very happy. Our cooks are keeping these fully stocked. Maybe we... I don't know. Maybe we could manage with only, like, two of these for three. I don't know. Maybe two would do four. I don't know. If, you, if you've got information on what, what the best ratio is of cooks to these, to cashiers or whatever, leave me a comment. Look at this. We are doing nicely. I... <laughs> the flushing noises on the toilets. It's kind of funny the first time you hear it, but after a while, it, it's kind of a little bit disgusting when you try and have a nice meal. Ooh, our restaurant's doing quite well. I wonder how much we're making. Uh, yeah, we're, all, we're running on fast. How's things out here? How Now, um, one other thing. Um, janitors. Um, yeah. I think people have been saying that I should put a maintenance centre, like by, I like over here or something, um, so that our janitors don't have to walk backwards and forwards all the time because they they do waste a lot of time. But the thing is, if you look at our stores, our stores are very clean. There's there's like one bag of gar well, no, there was a bag of garbage that's gone. There's I don't see any bags of garbage lying around. The floors are pretty clean. There's there's a few marks, but. Our yeah, look, there's a cleaner. He's on top of it. So I don't think... Okay, yeah, could I save a few bucks by, by not having so many janitors? Yeah, but... like, is it, Oh my god, look at this! 38,000! We are flying! Okay, I wasn't expecting this to go that well. I wonder how much... Oh, uh, how much did the restaurant make then? Let's have a look. We made... 2,000 first day. So I guess it's just the fact that we haven't been upsetting people. So we've just got more customers coming. And that's resulting in more sales. How has everyone... So, ooh, shiny. The, the jewellery store made 5,400. Was making like 7,500. Um, Sky Gear. Uh, it's bouncing around like 4,600. Has been up to 8,000. Uh, Vader's video games currently three thousand. Uh, Nanny giggles. Oh, Nanny giggles has done very well. Six thousand three hundred. A new record. People obviously like a bit of lingerie. Good job. Good job, Nanny giggles. And how is Skymart doing? Skymart is doing very nicely. Thank you. Eighteen and a half thousand. Peachy. Um. Seriously, like, what is up with these? How, like, do I, how do I unlock one? Can I figure it out myself? Like, I can't click on them. I can't, like, uh, is it something, it's not something in the maintenance sense section. Um, restroom, restroom, it's not an option on here. How the hell, well, okay, what's this? Missed sales opportunities, restrooms, five. Customers are leaving because of centre because there are no restaurants. All the restaurants are full. Really? They don't look overly busy, do they? Nobody's using the urinals, though. They're all being very, very coy. Oh, look, woman, woman in the men's bathrooms. Well, was, no, that was a guy, wasn't it? Oh, that was, no, you, look, woman. You went in the men's. Is she a transvestite? Is that transvestite Bob? I don't think that's transvestite Bob from Project High Rise. <laughs> oh, don't you just love how I link the series together with, like, inane, stupid things like that? Right. God, it gets really dirty in here, doesn't it? We may need we may need an extra couple of janitors just to keep this clean. Although, look, our janitors are on the ball. They are keeping it clean. So, no, I don't, maybe we don't. I am wondering if we need another stock clerk in here. Sky. I wonder why Sky Gear has kind of dropped off so much. It was doing really, really well. I mean, we, we haven't been upsetting customers. I mean, there's no, there's no queuing. If we go to, uh, if we go to the statistics, yeah, we haven't upset anybody at all. So, so I'm not quite sure why that's come down so much. I mean, it's down about 30% on what it was at that peak. 
I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we've lost some of the custom to Nanny Giggles because Nanny Giggles is doing rather well now. I wonder if that's what's happened. Let's have a look at Ushiny. How is Ushiny doing? Are we into another day? I think we are. Oh, look at the. Oh, ho, 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 hell yeah. 10,000. Boom. Ooh, shiny. Doing very nicely. Well, let's have a look. So, Sky Gear did five and a half. Vader's video games. Yeah, still about the same. Uh, Nanny Giggles. Still up there. 5,600. But, ooh, shiny. Was awesome. Oh, Sky Mart. Very close to hitting 20,000. I, I, well, I don't know about you guys, but like anybody that tells you that this game isn't fun, well, I don't know how anybody who doesn't like tycoon games wouldn't enjoy this. Like I've got, I, I do confess, after we've done like the bowling alley and the cinema, um, then it is going to be kind of rinse and repeat or whatever. But laying out like a really big mall and whatever, and putting like little restrooms around the place and different types of rest restaurants and having like a proper food court and stuff like that. Um, but that still kind of holds my interest. Um, but yeah, I mean, but again, this is early alpha. You know, there's going to be more stuff coming along. I mean, look at Prison Architect. They spent, they spent two years doing like monthly updates. And you compare it at the beginning to what it was at the end. Wow. Massive, massive amounts of, con uh, of content put in. Right now, I'm just kind of enjoying just like watching what's going on and... I, I, I'm starting to think. Well, no, I, we've only got like one space that's not full on our counter, so that there's not really too much we can do. Really, the next thing is going to be to extend Skymart. That really is the next thing to do. Uh, well, oh, now, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to do this. Um, okay, we need to rush because I want to get this into this episode. I want to put in. Um, an electronics store, but I want it to focus on appliances, uh, which are washing machines, dishwashers, uh, drying machines, and fridges. Uh, if we look at needs, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, no, nah, here they are, down the bottom. So washing machines, 50%. Uh, that, uh, that doesn't have anything. Drying machines are over 50%, and fridges, nothing. Oh, that's a 50%. But there's no tier 3, so there's kind of no point having uh, anything special. So I guess we'll just have, like, an electronics store. But we'll sell at... Um, yes, we'll have 50% electronics and appliances. I, I haven't misread any of these, have I? Yeah, electronics and appliances. That's nothing. Electronics and appliances. Electronics and appliances. But I want to do, like... I want to do over 50% appliances. I don't know, maybe... I don't know whether there are tier three bonuses or whether the bonuses change or anything. Uh, women's lingerie. See, that was that before said with over over fifty percent of uh, lingerie, and now it's not saying that. I suppose because we're getting it. I, oh, I don't know. It's a good point. Once, like, once you satisfy the criteria, does it go away? I, well, I suppose it does. Mm. But well. What, like, what else could we put in? Um, there's only really that. Uh, we could do... No, well, there are other stop stores that I want to do. I want to do a bookstore. I want to do, like, a, um, um, like something like Zone. Well, yeah, like DVDs and, C and CDs, primarily. Um, what else? We will do a tool shop. Um, we've already got a jewellers, but we'll, I'm sure we'll do a couple of more in the big mall. Um, yeah, we'll have the restaurants and bowling and stuff. Yeah, we could do a chemist. Now, so I want to look at drugs. Now, do you get the drugs? Do you get a tier three bonus for drugs? Yes, over fifty. So we definitely want to do a drugstore. Um, and we could do like we could do like a, a like a proper chemist that's over fifty percent drugs. But we could do like a, a store like like Boots in the UK where it's like it's health and beauty and drugs and it's so it's kind of that'll be getting the tier two. Um, yeah okay all right um i was thinking about the jewelry store and thinking we could maybe get more sales in here if we put maybe some other things in here but i was thinking well what else could go in a jewelry shop and the only thing i could really think of um let's build let's build the only thing i could really think of was like maybe maybe cameras i can't really think of too many other things you could put in here so 
if I flip that around, we could get we could get a couple of tables in here for for impulse buyers. Um, let's get let's get those built. Come on, builders, come and earn your money. Um, oh, you know what? Let's put let's put the foundations in here because we're going to do this store. Uh, what, what, what was I going to do? Do do do? do oh, no, foundations, bonehead. Uh, foundations. Come on. So foundations going in there. Right, these two. This is going to be electronics. This is going to be cameras. Because you do sometimes get cameras in jewelry stores, I think. I'm kind of... Th I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wonder... I'm wondering now, like, do you? Uh, uh, well, apparently you do in this town. Um, what else? I Like, food, definitely not. Like, what else? I don't know. Maybe... I mean, do jewelers sell things like smartphone cases and things? Could we, like... Yeah, well, let's put smartphones in. Um, and now maybe we'll get, like, a few extra customers and maybe sell a few extra things. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, uh, have we gone through another day? Or not? Let's have a look. Where are we? Who's shiny? Oh, yeah. We are. We only made... We only made 8,000 yesterday. Oh, very disappointing. Well, I've, oh, look. Oh, Look, you went in to buy yourself a new necklace. Came out with a blooming smartphone, didn't you? I think. So, um, let's select and click on you. And what did you just buy? Yeah, you bought a camera. <laughs> Excellent. That's what we like. Cool. Oh, uh, oops, wrong button. Right, build. Uh, okay, so we want to put store in here. What was I going to do? Was I going to do the... I thought I was going to do the electronics, wasn't I? Yeah. Right, so... Do, 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 do. Um, let's have... I, now, I, I could do, like, two stores here. I could do a little appliance store and something else. Should I do that just to be different? Yeah, go on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, build. Uh, walls. I like to do things that are like a little bit different. So, we'll put we'll put a wall in there. And then... Um, I can let the game run, kind of. Yeah, there's no harm. Uh, then I want objects. I want... Um, staff door. So we'll have a staff door. Um, should I put the staff door there for a change? All right, let's put the staff door there. And now we, that's the wall, so it's got to be there. Yep, that works. Right, then we want uh, a way in for the customers. That would be kind of nice. Um, should we have a way in? Well, let's, yeah, let's have the way ins there and there for a bit of a change. And then we want um, checkout counters. So, do I put my checkout counter there, I'm wondering? Yeah. Or I could put my check... Oh, oh I, I could put my checkout counter there. Ah, let's do that. So let's have the checkout counter there, and this one I, guess, I suppose we'll have to have there. Yeah. Let's do it like that. I think we're just going to have one checkout counter in here. Um... So this is going to have the appliances and stuff in it. And we'll probably have a bit of other electrical stuff. So, well, we'd want... Uh, we'd want to... I don't know, like three tables for the impulse buys. Um, this kind of doesn't really work so well for that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do in here yet. Well, the, the, so pallets. So, um, let's do it like... Let's have, like... Uh, six there and six there. Then we'll have like, four there. And do I want to, like do I want some other stuff? Mm. How about if I put like I don't know like if I if I add three across there, then I could put some shelves in there and have some. But like what else would you have? Um, all the electronics go on tables, don't they? So, that's one, two, three. So, that's like one, two, three. Yeah, I, let's have a, I don't know, let's have a couple of tables, I suppose. Um, if I do... That's that's equivalent of three tables. So, yeah, I think we can do that uh, and still have 50% appliances. All right, so this... Um, oops. Uh, select. Oh, it doesn't belong to an active zone. Oh, I've got to zone it first. So, manage. Not manage, assign. Idiot. Uh, uh, not storage. Uh, store. So, this is a store. Thank you very much. 
and now I'll manage it and put the storage in because I always forget where are we this is store 9 um, again guys if you can come up with a name for a store uh, that's like primarily dishwashers and fridges and stuff like that then uh, then let me know this is going to be we'll do this as another 7 till 11 I guess uh, what do I want 16 hours yeah 7 till 11 uh, assign the storage the storage is here and yeah that's pretty much it so staff we want um, we just want three cashiers don't we yeah um, you're a really good stock clock no, you're not, because your speed's rubbish. So we'll have you as a cashier then. Okay, so one and... Uh, so let's use you as a cashier. Two and... Yeah, you three. Uh, we want a stock clock, which is going to be... Oh, where's my good stock clock's gone? Oh, man. All right, well, we'll take... Who's the fastest? Probably you. All right, we'll take you as a... Um, how many stock clocks do we want? Um, bum, 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 bum. I've had three cashiers. We, we only wanted two, didn't we? Yeah, we only wanted two. You're fired. Go away. Right. Uh, we want two... Uh, do I want two stock clocks for a place like this? I think we can manage with one. Yeah, we're just going to have one. Yeah, what the hell. So, you're going to come in... Um, you should be at seven. Didn't I set it at seven? Yeah, seven. Okay, so you should come in at seven. Yeah, that's the first cashier. The second one should come in at three. Yeah, three. And then you, you just come in in the morning and stock up, and then we'll manage through the afternoon. Right. Holy hell. Um, you know, actually, we're going to sell more later in the day, aren't we? I think the stock clock should come in at three. Uh, in fact, I think the stock clock should come in at four. So... You can uh, stock up during the busiest part, and then you've got an hour at the end to kind of stock up for the next morning. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Right. Uh, everything looks ready to rock and roll. Go. All righty. So we've now got an appliance. Well, oh, God. I keep getting the wrong thing. We've now got an appliance store. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Um, we don't have a stock clock. Do we have... No. When did, oh, yeah. The stock clock might actually start this afternoon. I wonder. We'll see. Three o'clock. If he's going to start. Yes, here they are. We've got a cashier. We've got a stock clock. He's waiting for deliveries. He's waiting for some washing machines and stuff. Oh, no, I haven't assigned them. <laughs> He'll be waiting a long time. What do we want in here? We want... Um, okay, washing machine. And... I'm going to mix them up. Washing machine, dishwasher, dryer machine, uh, fridge. And... Uh, washing machine, dishwasher... Uh, dry machine and fridge and I'm gonna do fridge dry machine I'm gonna mix them mix them up washing machine and this one's gonna be a dishwasher this one's gonna be dry machine and fridge you're gonna be a dishwasher you're gonna be washing machine and then yeah, we're one short we need one more pallet let's have one more pallet We've got room just go. And what did I want to put in? Uh, I wanted manage. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, you're going to be washing machine and dishwasher and drying machine. Come on, builder. There you go. Thank you. And that's going to be a fridge. Right, what are we going to put in here? We'll have, uh, let's say we'll have laptops and we'll have... I don't know, game, um, cameras. Cameras seem to sell so well. And we'll have smartphones. And we'll have um, games consoles. And MP3 players. And what's the last one? Oh, and TV sets. I think I missed one. But that'll do. That'll do. So now we've got an electronic store. We're selling appliances. These should actually do fairly well. Um, I do want to have one as part of the... Uh, as a concession, as a part of Skymart. But we'll have, like, all kinds of stuff in uh, along here. So we'll extend this. We'll do this. And then we'll start on the, the giant mall. Please let me know how you get rid of these damn things. I suppose I can go and look it up myself, but you guys already know. So leave me a comment. Leave me a comment with your names for these places. Um... Missed sales opportunities for restrooms. I suppose, I don't know, do we need to put more restrooms in? 
I'm get I'm guessing it looks like it. I don't know. Maybe maybe we could squeeze a restroom in down here or something. I don't know. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. I will catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. I actually really enjoyed this, guys. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.